Hello everyone, good evening. So before I continue, I would just like to, uh, you know, mention that you can have a look at our other channel, Artha Point, where I am doing a 100 days, 100 CUT question series and uh, where we continuously also do marathons on Saturdays. Uh, we have already done some questions on IGIDR, on ISI, on, um, you know, uh, DSC and others, right? So you can also go ahead and look at our other channel, Artha Point. Okay, so now today we want to continue with this and we want to talk about how India has been turning inward. And in this, the first thing I want to talk about is macroeconomic orientation. So in a lot of things, we will see how India is doing in macroeconomic orientation, in trade and in other things. Are the policies that वो इनवर्ड है मतलब क्या वो एक्सपोर्ट करने से मना करती हैं इंपोर्ट्स लेने से मना करती हैं अंदर ही अंदर ग्रोथ चाहती हैं या क्या वो आउटवर्ड है इज इट इनवर्ड और इज इट आउटवर्ड दिस इज व्हाट वी वांट टू चेक सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट वन व्हिच इज मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक ओरिएंट एक मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक ओरिएंटेशन इट सेज दैट इनवर्ड पॉलिसी हैज बीन ग्रोइंग इन इंडिया बहुत चीजों से जो भी इंडिया की जो भी पॉलिसीज हैं उससे ये दिखता है कि इंडिया इनवर्ड ज्यादा प्रमोश प्रमोट कर रही है नॉट ओनली नॉट ओनली कोविड पीरियड बट इवन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट प्री कोविड पीरियड अगर कोविड से पहले की बात भी की जाए सो इट हैड स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट अ स्लो डाउन एंड दिस स्लो डाउन वाज बेसिकली बिकॉज डोमेस्टिक कंजम्पन वॉज स्लो डोमेस्टिक डिमांड ही नहीं थी डोमेस्टिक डिमांड वॉज वीकनिंग डोमेस्टिक कंजम्पन वॉज स्लो and because domestic consumption was slow domestic demand was slow that is why we had a slow growth in india to ye nahi hai ki sirf covid ki baat hai even before covid the slow down was there and this was because of low domestic demand especially consumption right so it says that if i go to the pre covid era agar covid se bhi pehle ki baat ki jaye तो गवर्नमेंट वॉज टेकिंग मल्टीपल इनिशिएटिव टू इंक्रीज द डोमेस्टिक डिमांड क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट आत्मनिर्भर भारत पे बोल रही थी गवर्नमेंट चाहती थी कि हम इंडिया के अंदर अंदर ही जीडीपी को इंक्रीज करें इंडिया की इनवर्ड पॉलिसीज के थ्रू इनकम इंक्रीज करें पर लोगों की डिमांड ही नहीं थी डोमेस्टिक डिमांड ही स्लो थी कंजम्पन ही नहीं थी तो कैसे इनवर्ड ओरिएंटेशन आएगा हाउ विल वी मेक श्योर दैट वी आर ग्रोइंग सो फॉर दैट गवर्नमेंट हैड ब्रॉट इन मल्टीपल पॉलिसीज to revive this kaisi kaisi policies thi redistribution of income take income from rich give it to poor so that demand of poor also increases agricultural reforms etc so these redistributional uh, reforms and other reforms aim was to revive the demand jo demand gir gayi thi us demand ko increase karne ka aim tha then it says that there has been also stagnation what stagnant economy ho gayi thi और वो स्टैगनेंट इकोनॉमी को ग्रो करने के लिए हमें डिमांड साइड मेजर्स चाहिए थे जैसे पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट देखो वी नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लायर वी नो दैट व्हेन जी इंक्रीजेस फिजिकल पॉलिसी मल्टीप्लायर के थ्रू अल्फा जी के थ्रू जीडीपी इंक्रीजेस सो देर वर वेरियस इनिशिएटिव टेकर एक फोर्सफुल डिमांड साइड मेजर लिया जा रहा था टू इंक्रीज द जीडीपी टू इंक्रीज द इनकम ऑफ पीपल like doing public investment so when you will increase public investment it is a forceful measure taken to give a boost to the stagnant economy economy puri stagnant hai economy mein kuch nahi chal raha tha demand ko badhane ke liye ek forceful public investment ki zarurat thi focus was on big push theory so many of you may have heard of big push theory big push theory kehta hai ki ek bahut bada पुश चाहिए एक थ्रेश लेवल साइज इकोनॉमी रीच करने के लिए सो इफ वी एम जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू इफ यू रिमेंबर बहुत अलग अलग एम्स थे दिस ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी दैट ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी बट हाउ विल वी गो टूवर्ड्स दैट कैसे रीच होगी वो इकोनॉमी सो टू रीच रीच दैट थ्रेश लेवल इन द इकोनॉमी अ बिग पुश वॉज रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट सो दिस इज वॉट दिस सेट दैट लुक फोकस वॉज ऑन द बिग पुश थ्योरी अच्छा दिस इज अ वेरी ओल्ड 
theory, right? 1970s may launch hui, 1950s may. It's a very old, old theory. But now this was being used into the economy to boost the economy, to increase the market size of the economy. So implication was to increase the market. Is this clear? Ye pehli cheez ho so macroeconomic orientation se ye samaj mein aata hai ki inward orientation pe focus tha. Abhi bhi hume India ko inward hi badhane ka zarurat tha. Abhi bhi we were, the government was focusing on increasing GDP through inward measures. Or unhi inward measures mein se sabse important measure tha increase the public investment to increase the forceful demand. Kisi tarikhe se logo ki demand badhao. उसके लिए चाहे redistribution of income करनी पड़े, चाहे agricultural reforms लेके आने पड़े, या public investment करनी पड़े. Is this clear? Move on to the next one. Next आया trade. देखो trade में हम आज बात करेंगे कि कैसे ये proof होता है कि India imports के against थी. India slowly एक outward orientation की जगह inward development चाहती है, inward orientation चाहती है. So in trade, the first thing is that it was seen for the first time that tariff was increased. Import tariff badna shuru ho gaya. Matlab hum bahar se goods mehenge mein mangwaenge agar mangwaenge to. It's a way to discourage imports, to discourage what you buy from outside, right? So first thing that we saw was that tariffs were increased. Okay. Second. The free trade agreements were put to hold. Sare agreements ko stop kar diya gaya. Nain, koi agreements nahi honge jis mein hum free trade kare economy mein. So the free trade agreements were put to hold, right? Subsidies were rolled out for the domestic producers. So domestic producers ki help ho rahi thi. Kaise? Unko subsidies mil rahi thi. Free trade band kar diya gaya. Imports pe tariff laga diya gaya. Now, this was opposite of what happened in 1991. We all know that in 1991, we had LPG, Liberalization, Privatization and Globalization. And this was against it. Ye uske opposite tha. So, this was a major break from this three-decade policy. Pichle 30 years se, hum isi cheez ko follow kar rahe hain. But for the first time, we saw that we are going opposite of the LPG policy. Okay. So, it was a reversal of the trade policy. Is this clear? It is a reversal of the trade policy. Okay. So, now, if I just talk about slow, ye, ye diagram, jo hai, ye easier version hai reading se. So, jo bhi red hai, wo red dikhate hai, ki hum logo ne vaha vaha par tariffs ko decrease kiya hai. We have decreased the tariff, which means we have become a more inclusive, right? We have increased the uh, the development. Uh, we have increased the, um, you can say we have increased the, um, uh, the 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 openness of the economy. That is the right word. We have increased the openness of the economy. So, jo jo aapke red hain, wo red aapko ye dikhate hain. Ki we have gone ahead and the reds, sorry, the reds, they show average tariff increase. And the greens, they show average tariff decrease. Ab isko dekhna shuru karna right from uh, your so, these are average tariff increases and decreases. Have a look at it from the point of view of the ending of the Congress and the starting of the BJP government. Okay. We have to see under the Modi government, what policies are inclusive? Zyada rahi hai, inclusive orientation wali rahi hai, ya exclusive orientation? Wali rahi hai? I have marked the big year here, 2017. 2019 is when COVID came. So, this is 17, this is 18, this is 19. This is 19. And this is 20, suppose. Okay. Have a look at this year between 17 and 18. 
this has been a major increase in tariff. The tariff increased by 2460. Never ever has it happened. It will be a four digit increase in tariff. This shows we want to protect our producers, our domestic economy at the cost of growing. We don't grow externally. We don't want to increase the trade. We want to grow the internal economy. Okay? So this is an important thing that happened. The reversal in the tariff policy. Right? Secondly, there are a lot of you cannot impose tariff. Because every government has signed some agreements. And those agreements tell that, you know, you cannot import tariff on so and so things. So, but what we have seen is that these tariffs have been majorly uh, done. Where have we majorly uh, put these tariffs on inputs, right? We want our producers to assemble products domestically. We want those products domestically. Banai. So, we want to encourage producers to assemble products domestically. And we want to protect them from the outside products. So, mostly on these inputs, we have gone ahead and posted the tariff. Again, showing how we have done inclusive orientation. Okay. Now, many of you may ask, Ki, we have signed these contracts like free trade agreement. Right. So, how can we go multi-trade multi agreement, uh, multi-trade nations we have, right? How can we go ahead and how can we just impose that? Of course, if I have signed a contract with someone, us country se import karne pe, I cannot impose tariff. But I can impose on others now. So tariff will have more effect on the countries where I have not signed the tariff with. So just say, agar main do countries le lo, this is the countries with which I have signed FTA. And this is non-FTA. Then these non-FTA countries are more having are, are at more woe why because they are the one who when they will send their good to india maybe their good will never be sold because i will be imposing very high tariff on it right so it is going to further favor the fta countries at the cost of the non-fta countries but it is going to affect welfare in a negative way so this Trade diversion in favor of FTA partners will raise cost and reduce welfare. Right? Now, I just want to highlight this that between 2004 to 14, India signed 11 free trade agreements. Matlab, India wanted to do free trade, India wanted to increase its trade. 2004 to 14. We have to compare. Then the Modi era came, right? Then the whenever the government changes, the policies will change. There were no trade agreements signed after that. Matlab, the, the way that we wanted to start thinking was different. Hamara jo orientation tha, jo hamara think, thinking process tha, that, that became very different. Is this clear? India decided not to sign any contract. And this is a major contract. Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. This was between majorly all Asian countries like China, Korea, Japan, etc. But India rejected. India said we will not sign it. Right. So which means that again we are focusing on inward orientation rather than outward orientation. At the same time, we gave a lot of subsidies to producers. Production linked subsidies dena shuru kar di humne, that if you produce i will give you subsidy to encourage them to produce to protect them we started putting tariffs and to encourage them we started giving subsidies right and especially if you remember abhi recently uh, we started saying that we will not take any military import we faced ban on military import right we said we will produce the domestic the military impo, uh, goods domestically. So military goods be domestically produce. Ho rahe hai. We want to become self-sufficient in military production in the wake of Chinese aggression in Malayas. If you remember very, very recently, there was uh, some uh, issues at the border 
एंड वी सेट दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक एनी थिंग फ्रॉम चाइना तो वो मिलिट्री इम्पोर्ट भी बंद हो गए एंड वी स्टार्टेड डूइंग दम सेल्फ सफिशियंटली सो वी स्टॉक टू थिंग्स टूडे वन इज मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक एंड वन इज ट्रेड बोथ ऑफ दम प्रूव दैट इंडिया इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स इन वर्ड ओरिएंटेशन अगेंस्ट आउटवर्ड ओरिएंटेशन ओके ओके थैंक यू